So hello everyone, today we are going to tackle about literary criticism. So first, what is literary criticism? So literary criticism is the practice of studying, evaluating, and interpreting works of literature, similar to literary theory, which provides a broader philosophical framework for how to analyze literature. Literary criticism offers readers new ways to understand an author's work. Examples of literary theories include new historicism, queer theory, critical theory, and post-colonial theory. So, the purpose of literary criticism. The purpose of literary criticism is to broaden a reader's understanding of an author's work by summarizing, interpreting, and exploring its value. After giving the text a close reading, a critic formulates a comprehensive literary analysis that can inform or challenge another reader's understanding of the text. The practice of literary criticism creates space for readers to better understanding the, to the beauty and complexity of the world through literature. So the history of literary criticism. Literary criticism is thought to have existed as far back as the 4th century BC. Aristotle's poetics developed for the first time the concept of mimesis and catharsis. The Sanskrit Natya Shastra includes literary criticism and ancient Indian literature. The, the literary criticism of the Renaissance developed classical ideas of unity of form and content into literary neoclassicism, proclaiming literature as central to culture, entrusting the poet and the author with preservation of a long literary tradition. The birth of Renaissance criticism was in 1498 with the recovery of the classic texts, most notably Giorgio Valle's Latin translation of the Aristotle's Poetics. The work of Aristotle's Specially Poetics was the most important influence upon literary criticism until the late 18th century. Lodovico Castelvetro was one of the most influential Renaissance critics who wrote commentaries on Aristotle's Poetics in 1570. So, in the Enlightenment period, starts with the 70s to 80s, literary criticism became more popular. Criticism was influenced by values and stylistic writing, including clear, bold, precise writing. Many works of Jonathan Swift, for instance, were criticized including his book, Gulliver's Travels. The British Romantic movement of the early 19th century introduced new aesthetic ideas to literary studies. German Romanticism followed closely after the late development of German Classicism. Both movements value wit, wit or humor of a certain sort more highly than the serious Anglophone Romanticism. However, important all of these aesthetic movements were as antecedents Current ideas about literary criticisms derive almost entirely from the new direction taken in the early 20th century. So that would be all about the literary criticism.